Ratatoin. The marvelous city, land of sun and heat, with one of the most beautiful urban skylines in the world. This is a prosperous city. That's where our story takes place, in the heart of this city, in a very famous and sophisticated restaurant, frequented by the most notable residents of the city. It seems that everyone, even from distant places, wants to come to this restaurant just to taste the famous recipes served there at Ratatoing. The favorite bistro, according to the truly sophisticated and refined rats. Chef Marcel Toing prepares the most delicious and exotic dishes, always using special secret ingredients. Oh, I must say that smells delicious. Did you have any doubts, sir? There's no doubt about that here. Their food is always guaranteed to be delicious. We came from a great distance because everyone we heard from said the food is great at Ratatouille. Boy, that's the truth. It was my second cousin, Vinny, who told me about this great restaurant. Whenever he travels to the city on business, he always eats at the Ratatouille. It's so nice of you to say so. I'll tell Marcel he loves compliments. I hope you will tell him. <laughs> By the way, I would consider it an honor to meet the great Chef Marcel. Won't you please ask him to stop by? Of course, I certainly will. Now relax and just enjoy your dinner. Mm. It's divine. Don't you agree, Oscar? Yes, Maria Liche, just divine. Indeed, this restaurant is very good, Maria Liche. You are absolutely right. Oh! Were you questioning my good taste, darling? <laughs> no, 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 no. Everyone knows this is a great restaurant, but I would never have imagined that a restaurant this good would even exist around here. Of course, you would expect to find fine dining places like this in cities like Paris or Madrid, but around here, I never would believe it. It's really amazing. Ready to order? I, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Everything looks so good, it's hard to know what to get, but I, I think I'm going to order the mushroom and moss puree with our Orange sauce. Would you recommend this dish? It's a very good choice, sir. I'll bring it quickly. No, wait, I'm not sure yet. I. My dear, when exactly did you travel to Europe? Uh... <laughs> Who cares? I just want to concentrate on the wonderful food. Huh? What the heck is this? Waiter! I think I'll order something else instead of the mushroom and moss. This one here looks very good. Bring me the larvis pie smothered in asparagus sauce. That does sound so delicious, and it's exactly what I think I want tonight. Okay, I'll put this order in the kitchen. Is there something you need? There's something strange over here. What seems to be the problem, sir? I ordered the flies with gorgonzola sauce, and this is definitely camembert sauce. But this definitely is gorgonzola, sir. It is not camembert. Oh, you're right. I somehow confused them. I'm so terribly sorry. Darling, that looks positively disgusting. Oscar, what ridiculous dish did you order? I don't know how men can eat things like this. That is so disgusting. 
You'd think Oscar was making her eat it. What's the matter? Don't you like Gorgonzola? <coughs> Hello. Well, it's turning out to be some night tonight, huh, Marcel? Yeah, you're right. So far tonight, I've been asked to make 12 olive creams and soda. So, is it ready? Well, almost. Tell me, has the party at table four decided their order? Yes, he ordered tonight's special, the larva pie. Carol, why didn't you tell me sooner? You know perfectly well that dish requires a lot more time to prepare than other dishes. You've got to take it easy. Hey, guys, do you know that the party at table four has changed his order again? Now he wants Let a... me guess. He wants the spicy, fatty, and crisp spaghetti. Precisely. That guy always ends up ordering the same thing. I'm glad you know the ordering habits of your clientele. Hmm. Wow, Marcel, it looks like we'll set a new record today. Do you think so? I haven't had one minute to even think about it. And where's Otavio? He's here. Right now he's serving at table two. Oh, you mean the aristocrat's table. Precisely. Won't you please offer the chef my usual compliments for tonight's exquisite dinner? It's marvelous. Uh-huh. And remember, my Oscar has a very knowledgeable palate. But if I'm not mistaken, he actually mixed different sauces. Well, he didn't exactly mix them. Ladies, do you have to be so critical? Here it is, your shrimp souffle. And for you, the worm burger with cheddar. Junior, you really need to stop eating the junk food. It's not healthy for you. Have a heart, dear. Let the boy have what he wants. Yes, Daddy. I love cheddar. Is that so? But that ain't cheese. It's just plastic. You're kidding. That's okay, Mom. As it happens, I'm also very partial to plastic. I hope you all enjoy your wonderful dinner. Do you need anything else at this time? No, thank you. But I would also like to send my compliments to the chef. I believe there are some dishes we can only find at the Ratatouille. Won't you tell us what your secret is? Some of the ingredients we use are rare and very hard to come by. That is our secret. What do you mean rare ingredients? And where do these rare ingredients come from? How come no one else in town seems to be able to get them? I don't know, sir. I just serve the food here. But I know we always seem to have all the secret ingredients we need for every dish we serve. Excuse me. Uh, uh... May I help you? I just want to tell you something. I've always heard wonderful things about this restaurant, and the raves are consistent. I must say, I agree that this food and the service are both wonderful. Thank you, sir, and may I say we're very glad you feel that way. I hope it's not inconvenient, but I would really love to speak to the chef. I'll go into the kitchen and see if he might be available to come out and meet you, sir. Oh, we're not in any hurry. I don't mind waiting as long as necessary. No, we don't mind waiting, but while we wait, I'm sure we'd like to have you bring us some of your famous desserts. What would you like to have? Well, what's the specialty of the house? Hmm, what about chocolate sponge cake with ice cream and biscuit bran? Hmm, I don't know. I'm sorry, but I don't usually like ice cream unless I'm certain that it's absolutely fresh. There's no need for you to worry here, madam, because our ice cream is always served fresh. You don't say! But how is that possible? Tell me, where do you find such a thing as that? I'm sure you won't find it in any garbage can. Ah, rest assured we have excellent suppliers. I'll bring out the ice cream. Oh. Wow, am I crazy or have we been busy? I'm getting no rest. I've never seen it so busy. I haven't either. And don't forget, after the restaurant closes, we still have a lot to do. What do you mean? I plan to go home. Oh, really? Greg, have you forgotten that it's Thursday night? Oh, I forgot we do something special on Thursday night. That's right. Oh, Marcel, I need two orders of chocolate sponge cake with ice cream and biscuit bran. Good choice. Coming right up. Hey, my handsome friend, are you ready for more food adventures tonight? I'm always ready, because I know how to keep my equipment prepared. Wow, that was really fast. Yeah. Two chocolate ice cream with biscuit bran. Precisely. I'm not talking about your after-hours adventures. I'm talking about the adventure with the clients at Table One who want to talk to you. Oh, please. You know how much I dislike facing customers. Young man, you are an artiste of the kitchen. Would you please tell me what you use in these recipes that makes everything so delicious? 
Sir, as I tell everyone who asks, I'm just the waiter. I don't know the recipes. Oh, you must know. Come on, tell us. Why do you have to make everything such a secret? I, I, I really don't know, sir. Well, I'm sure you must know something. <sighs> to know nothing of the topic is simply not possible. Oh, oh. I'm not satisfied with your answer. Call the chef out here. Hopefully the chef will teach us both something. Mr. Marcel is very busy tonight. He can't come out because he's, uh... Uh... Oh, too busy. Isn't that what you said? Uh, that's right. He's trying to finish his work in the kitchen. Would you please ask him to come uh... to our table when he's done? Yes, ma'am. I'll be happy to do what I can for you. Excuse me. Young man, I'm impressed, and you should be proud. I've never eaten such a fine meal. <laughs> Thank you. We do the best we can. <laughs> There's certainly no need to be modest, young man. I'm stunned, though I've always heard many compliments about this restaurant. I must admit that I never imagined the food would actually be this delicious. You can see that Marcel is really shy. But please tell me, young man, what is the secret of the great flavor in every one of the dishes you prepare? <laughs> well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a secret anymore. Oh, please, won't you tell me, young man? All right, I'll tell you. Oh, now is our chance. Now is our chance. He's actually going to say it. Quick, grab your notebook and write down every single word. The actual secret ingredient that can be found in all of the food prepared here is lots of... Come on, out with it. Lots and lots and lots of... With lots of... With lots and lots and lots of... This guy is just driving me crazy. The dishes are prepared with the secret ingredient of a lot of dedication and care. <laughs> oh. oh, I just knew he was going to say that. But the food is absolutely fabulous. I'm sure we'll be back here often. And thank you for the really great service, young man. Thank you so much for your support. Well, I must be going now. See you next time. Stay as long as you like. Oh, Marcel, would you mind stopping by our table? I would be happy to. How can I help you? We were talking here about the various restaurants in this city, and we were just wondering, uh, what exactly do you put in your food that makes it so delicious? Uh, what do you mean? Is there a secret ingredient used? And if so, we'd like to know what it is. Oh, no, not that same old question again. You must tell us, tell us. Hey, why do you have a notebook here? Oh. Uh... Um, this is just a little notebook that I always carry around with me. Uh, it's just an ordinary autograph book. So why would you bring an autograph book here? Because we're your fans. Won't you give us your autograph, please, Marcel? Mm? Yeah, that's it. We just couldn't leave here until you give us an autograph. Hey, Marcel! We need you here right away! We had an accident in the kitchen! Hurry! Uh, all right. Will you excuse me? I hate to rush off, but I'm needed in the kitchen. The secret ingredients of ratatouille. I can't believe he didn't notice. He may be a great cook, but he's not very smart. Ah, who had an accident? Is anyone hurt badly? What's going on? There's no problem. <laughs> we were just trying to help you get away from those clients. We know just how uncomfortable you feel in those situations. <sighs> Thank you so much. I couldn't take it anymore. Those clients just don't understand how much I hate talking to them. Well, I see by the clock on the wall that it's almost time for our special night work. Only one table is still occupied and they're almost ready to get up. That's great. While you take care of finishing in the kitchen, the three of us will get ready for our Thursday night mission. You know, I thought he was going to reveal the secret. You mean our little secret was almost revealed. Listen, guys, I think we should just forget about trying to uncover the secret of Ratatouille's food and start worrying about our own restaurant. What is with you? Why are you ready to quit so fast? If we can find out their secret, we can go back to being a great restaurant. Great theory, but we've never been a great restaurant. I'm sure that if Rata Toying wasn't in business, we would have to be considered the best. We used to get lots of customers, but now every rodent and their brother comes to this place. Mm, I thought so too. Didn't you, Oscar, darling? You bet it was. Our only hope of returning to our success is to get rid of Chef Marcel Toying. There's no way to compete against him. They must have a weakness there somewhere, and we'll just have to find it. Come on, Greg, it's time. Hey! <laughs> 
We've got to think of some effective countermeasures. As long as Ratatouille is open, we're sure to keep losing business. I think you started losing business for us the day you started forgetting about our own restaurant and focused on Ratatouille's big secret. Not to mention the fact that it's costing us a small fortune in restaurant checks while we struggle in vain to learn it. We're eating there almost every day, and we've left the management of our place to our wait staff. Oh, would you shut up? I believe we don't have any choice but to destroy Ratatouille. When that's done, we'll worry about our own restaurant. Well, you can count me out. I won't go back to their place anymore. And besides, I miss our restaurant. Ladies, calm down. We must recognize the difficulty of our situation. I suggest we stop going there for a little while and carefully reconsider what our options might be. That's a fine idea. I don't want to come back here. We've got to go right back. Tell me, why are you so anxious to go back there? I have a small confession to make. You see, I somehow left our notebook on the table containing all our notes. I don't believe it. If Marcel sees that notebook, we'll be exposed as restaurant spies. If that happens, we'll have done all this spying for nothing. Maybe we'll be lucky and they won't even open the notebook. Let's just stay away for a little while. We need time to rethink our plans. Oh. Oh. Let's go! Guys, check it out. I smell something fresh coming from down there. That's awesome. Let's go. Wow, you won't believe it. What a bonanza. Guess what I found down there? What is it? Strawberries. Big, beautiful red ones that smell incredibly fresh and delicious. Wow, that's fantastic. Get down there, Marcel. Hurry. Calm down, Greg. Marcel, take your time. We need to make sure we haven't been followed by anyone. We cannot jeopardize our source for fresh ingredients. <sighs> Hmm. Yeah! Oops. Oh, he just missed. That's it. Now bring me the strawberry. <laughs> what have you done, you clumsy idiot? Huh? It wasn't me. It wasn't me.
you. Turn this crazy yeah. thing off! Yeah. you turn that thing on? I think I pushed the switch! What switch? They pushed the button behind you! Did you say pull? No! Not pull the button! Push the button! Are you saying button? Yes, button! I mean switch! Did you say button or switch? The button is a switch! Uh, what switch? Oh, button! Okay. Ah! So this is where they get the secret ingredients. They just steal everything fresh from a human restaurant. Now we have their secret. Adventurous guys. <laughs> Let's just say we weren't ready for that human merry-go-round. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't find that to be particularly funny, Greg. You need to be more careful. You could have gotten us killed. Oh, give me a break, will you, Marcel? I was being careful, but the line got stuck. Well, guys, what really matters is that we were able to bring back an excellent strawberry. Precisely. And though we had some trouble getting it, we'll be able to make a week's worth of excellent dishes with this little beauty. Perfect, my friends. Now let's head home and call it a night. I hope Otavio remembered to lock the front door. Hmm, let's see now. Greg asked me to do something before I went home, but what was it? I think it was, um, uh, let me see now. I think I had to go to the store. But which store? No, that's not it, because there's no store open today. I think I had to, uh, move the tables and clean the floor. That's it. But I've already cleaned the floor. No, no, that can't be it. Uh, oh, I forget. But whatever it was I was supposed to do, I'll just do it later. It'll be fine. I'd better check things out, because he's so forgetful. What an unbelievable story. Let me get this straight. You're saying that Marcel gets fresh ingredients directly from the kitchen of the human's restaurant? How many times do I have to say it? That's exactly what he does. But that can't be possible. Humans are notorious for setting rodent traps to keep rats away, especially from their kitchens. They're like super secret agents. You should check out their equipment. It reminds me of a rat bond movie. Oh, now I get it. Marcel Toying isn't just a great chef. He's also a super secret agent who goes on missions impossible. I doubt it. It's true. I saw them actually pick up and carry fresh strawberries. They were so bright in color. Not like the ones we have to settle for from the garbage cans. I don't see how we can compete with Marcel's restaurant when he has fresh ingredients to use and we only have garbage ingredients. We shouldn't even have to try to keep up with Marcel Toying. Anyway, I don't have the stomach for risking my life to get food ingredients. I don't think you should have to take such chances just to have a restaurant. So we can't compete against Ratatouille's restaurant because we'll never have the same quality level of food ingredients. You're right. Wait a minute. What if Marcel suddenly found he wasn't able to get his fresh ingredients anymore? What would happen then? But those guys really know what they're doing. You should have seen them. They have it down cold. How do you think we can stop them? Well, maybe all we need to do is to make things a little more complicated for them. I'm sure we can find a way to make it more difficult. So, what do you have in mind? Do you know a cat that's available for a job? No, we don't need a cat for this job. We only need rats. And here I see we have four good ones. You know, I can't even imagine what you're thinking. Okay, guys. When I say now, we put our great plan in motion. I'm so nervous. Maria, are you convinced this is going to work? Convinced? I still have grave doubts about this great plan. You'll see. You'll see. One, two, three, now! La, 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 la,
Make me sick to my delicate stomach. It's okay. I think we got exactly the reaction we wanted. Let's get out of here. The sight of all these humans is more than I can stand anymore. I agree with Maria. Let's go. I think we've done enough, don't you? Uh huh. <laughs> yes, it was absolutely perfect. Now all we have to do is sit back and wait. What the heck caused all this mess? Rats, sir, but I don't know how they got in. The rats came in and made our customers go completely crazy. How did we suddenly get rats? We always are so careful. We've never even had the slightest trace of rats here before. I know we're careful, but they just appeared, and it was horrible. Well, just make sure you apologize to the customers. We'll need to take quick and effective measures. I want this taken care of immediately. Okay, boss. <laughs> I can't wait to see how crazy they get after they discover the incredible mess we made. We're so bad. After the confusion, everything eventually settled back to normal once again. But one week later... Hey, Marcel! Hmm. I hate to tell you this, but the customers are all tired of the strawberry. Yeah, I know. You don't need to remind me. All week long, I've been using the same ingredient in all the dishes we're serving, and now I can't even stand the smell of strawberry. With all the trouble we went through last week, we weren't able to come away with anything more than just one stupid strawberry. Relax. Don't forget it's Thursday night, which means we have another chance to get more ingredients. But this time, Greg needs to be more careful. <laughs> What are you saying about me? Easy, Greg. It's nothing. Nothing. tonight, but look at how it's all spread out. Oh, don't trust anything, Marcel. They might be traps. <laughs> be careful, Marcel. I have a bad feeling about tonight. What do you mean, Carol? Don't say things like that. <laughs> hey, Marcel, are you okay? The food is attached to a trap. There'd be trouble. We never saw traps here before. Oh, yeah. There's a lot different here. I'm gonna go check things out carefully. Thank <laughs> you. 
looks like a bar of chocolate. Oh, that's great. We've never had any chocolate before. Well, we certainly do now. <laughs> say I know what to do. I don't have equipment that handles a cat. Forget it. We just have to accept tonight as it is. But how are we supposed to prepare our famous dishes without our secret ingredients? We'll just have to make do for a while with what we have in stock. Good thought. I don't want to become this cat's dinner. Let's get out of here. No, sir. We're all out of camembert stew. Uh hmm. So let's see. You may bring out for me the lentil soup with mushrooms. I'm sorry, but we're out of that as well. May I suggest you try the palm heart? It's the specialty of the kitchen tonight. A tasty dish. Uh hmm. That's not exactly what I had in mind. But bring it out if it'll be delicious. Of course it will. Sorry for any inconvenience. Ah, uh, Carol. I don't know what to do. We're running out of every ingredient we had. Unless I come up with a miracle, we're in big trouble. Marcel, everybody knows you simply do the best you can. Looks to me like we did it. The customers are really beginning to take notice. Our plan worked. Look how empty this place is. <laughs> the food certainly isn't the same anymore, is it? We took care of hurting their business, but our restaurant is still just as empty as ever. We haven't really benefited from all that trouble we went through. I would certainly agree that there's no particular reason for us to celebrate, but we just completed the first step. We destroyed the reputation of Ratatouille. So what big ideas do you have now? You didn't have the courage to get what we needed when there were no traps in the kitchen. Why would you make such an accusation? We just know the rats we're dealing with. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Are you implying that we don't have any courage? Then let's see you go into that human kitchen and get some food for our restaurant. But, but, it's too dangerous, and besides, it's scary. Just what kind of a rat are you? I'm a tough rat, but I don't want to be a dead rat. Don't worry about it. We'll think of some way to deal with it. Okay, guys, I'm taking off now. Hey, don't forget to lock the door behind you this time. Which door did you have in mind? Don't worry about the door, Greg. We've got much more serious problems. Yeah, very serious. I only wish that I could offer a good solution for them right now. Well, if I'm not mistaken, it's Thursday night. Precisely. But Marcel... I hope you're not thinking of going back there. Oh, Marcel, are you out of your mind? I'm afraid there's no other way, guys. We either go back or we close. I get scared just thinking about that monster. Oh, Marcel, it's too dangerous to go back. I just know we have to try.
careful this yeah. time, will you? Yeah. Watch your back over there, Marcel. Precisely. Hey, big monster! Where are you? Come and get me! Here, kitty, kitty! Here, kitty, kitty! What are you doing, Marcel? Why are you calling the cat? You're not. Calm down, my friend. I have everything under control. Hey, Carol, Greg, check out the middle of the table. Look at all that delicious cheese just waiting to be taken. Hurry up, make your way over here and get as much as you can. Oh, really? But what about the cat? There's no sign of him. I've checked everywhere. Look behind <laughs> you. Ah! Ah! Hold on there, big guy. I think we started our relationship off badly before, if you know what I mean. I'd love to chat with you. <laughs> Carol, Greg, you guys get the food. I'll stay here and distract the cat. Come on, don't wait, move it! How you doing, handsome? It is my great pleasure to meet you tonight. My name is Marcel Toying. That's me, all right. I don't believe it. What the heck are we doing here anyway? Will you calm down? I'm trying to think of a really good plan. Your plans don't work so good. Well, you know these rats are completely out of their skulls. Maybe so, but now's our chance. Come on, Greg. We have to grab as much of this cheese as we can. Precisely. <laughs> Finish clearing out the cheese, dumb cat. Hey, cat, look at me. I'm talking to you. Hey, pay attention to me. Hey, 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 pay attention. Look what I got. Calm down, calm down, good buddy. I didn't mean it. Let's talk it over. Everything can be worked out if you're willing to talk things over. Greg, Carol, help! Is everything okay, Marcel? Everything's great. It couldn't be any better. It's just fine. But please, hurry up and grab everything you can. I don't know how much longer I can hold them off. As I was saying, I think we could be great friends if we would only give peace a chance. It's an honor and a privilege to meet a cat with your intelligence and ability. Calm down, my friend. Please calm down. Oh, uh, I've got an idea. Hold it right there. Give us everything you have in your bags and make it quick. And we do mean everything you've got. But why? Don't you think there's enough cheese here for all of us? Go get your own, but watch out for the traps. You're absolutely right, and it's all delicious. So I think we should just go up on that table and grab our own piece of cheese. Why do we need to bother with the small pieces they have in their bags when there's so much on the table for us to take? You go first, I'll wait for you here. That would be perfect for you, right? You want to see if I have the courage, no? That's not it, but you'll have to watch out for the rat traps. Do you think I'm too stupid to avoid a trap? Yes, I do. You guys are real stupid, and I bet this place became a complete disaster because of the two of you. You better show us some respect, you lowlife rat. Hey, you don't call my friend a lowlife. What are you going to do about it, chubby? Hey, look behind you guys, it's a monster! You must really think we're idiots. First you think we don't know about the rat traps, and now you give us the old behind you bit. I'm losing my patience with you. Hand over those bags of yours. <laughs> That's it, my big friend. <laughs> Grab these two and take them to your boss and see how proud he is of you. He'll give you a big reward and you'll have me to thank for it. <sighs> Unbelievable! When I saw that big cat behind us, I almost fainted. What deal do you have with that cat? Yeah, what's the deal? His name is Paolo. He arrived last week. Nice name, but he scared me. How did you get him to want to cooperate with you? He's your natural enemy. Well, I had a homemade snack in my bag. I offered it to him, he loved it, and he wanted more. <laughs> I know you cook food rodents enjoy, but who could have imagined that cats would love it too? <laughs> I don't know about other cats, but Paolo loved it, and it was easy to make a deal with him when his stomach was full. I'm so glad we solved the rodent problem. Now we don't have to have all these traps around. As long as we have our secret weapon, we won't have a rodent problem. So rat traps aren't needed here anymore. No rats will dare come around while our cat's on duty. And soon the rat tat toying was full again. Almost everything seemed to be back to normal. I said almost everything, didn't I? All right, sir. The chef has already prepared your salmon with Roquefort cheese. I 
heard those rats of ours were sent to an out-of-town laboratory. Oh, you know I miss them so much, it just breaks my little heart. Be patient, my friend. I understand they're being treated very well out there. I know I'd feel better about the way I'm being treated if I had the dinner I ordered here a million years ago. Boss, that new friend of yours has requested another salmon with Roquefort cheese. I guess he likes the food here. And I intend to keep him feeling that way. Trust me, he is the very best deal in town, my friends. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. <laughs>